Yisrael Shalom. First, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechakodash, Rebel Honest, the Apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Hey, things are <laughs> things are getting more intense and intense there in Paris, man. All right, it says so now they they now they're attacking or or they're hitting them where it hurts, I should say. All right, because it says here, um, officials worst nightmare. Yellow vests hope to trigger bank run with financial protests. All right, and that's if you really want to hit a country, man, you gotta hit it where it hurts. All right, and that's the financial part. Okay, that's really what brings down a lot of countries. Okay, and um, that's why you have Mayor Amshel Bauer who said he made that statement: "Give me control of a nation's money, and I care not who makes the laws." All right, or something of uh, to that to that effect. Okay, because he understands that what, like they say, money makes the world go round. <laughs> All right, so it says um, yellow vest because really transactions keep keep you know what I mean the, the the currency circulating. All right, and it keeps the, the economy afloat. So it says yellow vest protesters are hoping to trigger a bank run with a nationwide coordinated cash withdrawal. Nationwide, boy, it says by threatening the French financial system, protesters say that they want to peacefully force the government to pass their reforms. If the banks weaken. The state weakens immediately, said Yellow Vest sympathizer Taz San on Facebook. It's elected officials' worst nightmare. Protesters plan to empty their bank accounts on Saturday, withdrawing as much money as possible in a bid to undermine the French banks, if not the euro itself. The plan is to scare the state legally and without violence, forcing the government to adopt the, the, move, the, the movement's citizens' uh, refer referendum initiative which would allow citizens to propose and vote on new laws we are going to get our bread back you're making money with our dough and we're fed up <laughs> said protester max maxim nicole in a video message shared on youtube a well-coordinated financial action has been the potential to bring the french banking system um and by extension extension the euro to its knees as banks always hold only a fraction of the funds, um, of of the funds the country's citizens have in their accounts. However, most banks limit ATM withdrawals to a relatively low amount, meaning protesters protesters would have to line up. So I could, would have to line up inside the banks to withdraw the rest of their money, giving the state plenty of time to place restrictions on withdrawals. Though this would no doubt spark further protests. See. So things are only getting worse and worse and worse and worse, man. Okay, <laughs> you have people punching police in the face and all that, man. Okay, these people out here in France, they're not playing no games, and they're gonna put France under martial law, man. All right, because this these uproars, all right, in 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 that in that in that area, man, it's gonna cause them to come down and clamp down on the citizens. Okay, and as you can see, it's going on around the world, man. Not only France, but things are also about to start getting crazy here in the U.S. Okay. You think Venezuela is bad, man. Venezuela is going to be in a better case than the U.S. All right. It says the financial demonstration is a novel means of circuit circumventing Prime Minister Eduardo Felipe's proposed crackdown on unauthorized protests. Announced earlier this week after a particularly violent weekend of clashes with armed riot police, including an unexpected appearance by boxer Christophe Dettinger, Felipe has promised 80,000 security forces will be deployed for the next protest. See? And, hey, it's getting to the point, man, when, hey, when shots get fired, boy, it's, it's not going to be a joke there, man. Because that's ultimately what it's going to get to, man. All right? It says, meanwhile, there there is tension within the movement itself as some former protest leaders call for a political uh, solution. Uh, the government has urged protesters to make their voices heard in a national debate instead of demonstrating uh, instead of demonstrating in the streets as they have done for the last two months. The debate scheduled for next week will cover climate change, democratic issues, taxes and public services. You know, but hey, you know, because when we when we talk about martial law, people don't understand the extent and the, and the level in which we're talking about, man. We're not talking about just regular just curfews and stuff, man. We're talking about full-on military assault, okay? Because that's what that's what's prophesied, man. That's what's gonna happen, okay? So yes, you ought to fear what's coming. And you see all this madness going on here, man. Look at this. Look at this. 
all right and this is why this space is going to be destroyed man this is why this this age has to be destroyed and done away with man okay but this is an update on what's going on in france all right you have the whole shutdown going on in the u.s you have this going on in france all right you have the chip also being uh um um all right talked about and brought out more and more so a lot of things are happening man okay a lot of things are happening you know we got to keep our eyes out all right our eyes open and stay on our watch Okay, so Lord, and this is edifying to the elect. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Shalom.